Hello and welcome back to the June 3 workshop. This is episode number two and we're going to be taking a look at Shimmer Reverb in June 3. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Shimmer Reverb on some pad design. We're going to focus on the pad design at the beginning, and then we're going to look at adding the Shimmer towards the end. June 3 offers a nice selection of Reverb presets, and we're going to be looking at the Shimmer Hall today on top of a pad design. We're going to start with the pad sound design as we do in these workshops, and then we'll focus on the Shimmer Reverb and how we can integrate that into the sound design, and just look at exactly what Shimmer Reverb does. And just before we jump into the video, you can download this preset in the description down below, and if you want to, you you can follow along and pause the video where needed to copy the preset. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the Synapse Audio YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our workshop videos. We can hear the shimmer reverb here on the pad in the background. We're going to take a look at the synth in a second, but you can hear it's almost like an organic organ tone over the top, like we've implemented some sort of like organ arpeggio. And that is in fact the shimmer reverb. And for those that are interested, these three layers making up the sound design are all from June 3. Make sure that you're updated to June 3.5 because there is one of the presets there from the new Factory Bank update. And just for reference, the two yellow layers are the sounds that I've created. The two blue layers are the ones that we're going to be working on and showing you how the shimmer works. Jumping into Shimmer Pad Duplicate, we can see this is our sound design. So you can have a quick look over there and you can just download it in the description if you want to analyze the preset design. And what we're going to focus on here is the Shimmer Hall. So you can see I've got it activated already on Effects Bus 2. And also Effects Bus 1 is also activated and it's just got a standard reverb and delay on here. So it's just to give it a little bit of atmosphere and space. Effects Bus 2 is going to control the Shimmer. So for the pad, we're going to use Shimmer Hall, and for the pluck later on, we're going to use Shimmer Room. Now, the main controls to think about are Time, Shimmer, Regen, and then the Dry Wet as well. So I'm going to turn the Dry Wet all the way up to full so we can hear the full effects of this. And I'm going to turn up the Regen as this pad is playing and just listen to how this affects the signal. Bring the level down. there was some very different effects we were getting from the shimmer hall there and that is all down to setting up the time the shimmer and the regen so returning these back to their default positions time is exactly the same as what you'd expect in a reverb it's the time and length the reverb is going to last and in this case it is 20 seconds at full and 0 0.02 of a second at the bottom at its default of four seconds, we can hear the regen comes through and comes across very nicely. So we can hear all the individual shimmers. And what is really happening, it sounds like an organic organ tone over the top, like we've added an extra voice layer and used an organ preset, for example. But what's happening is it's controlling how much of these regens we're hearing over octaves. Now we're going to hear the octaves a little bit better in the pluck demo a little bit later in the video. But for now, we're going to focus on making this sound organic and fit in with the pace of our pad design. As you can see, we've got some slow attacks and some slow releases as well. So I'm going to start by increasing the pre-delay here to about 100 milliseconds. So it swells in a little bit on each note. And if we turn up the regen a little bit so we can hear this. So it's just stopping it coming in straight away. It's just giving it a little bit of time before it all starts filtering in. Now I'm going to use the shimmer blend here. I'm going to leave the dry wet up full for now and I'm going to bring the regen down to a level where it's not sounding too bright. That's not too bright. We can control the brightness with the color and the high frequency dampening as well. You can hear that adds a really nice tone, texture, and just gives the whole preset a new character, especially in the context of this mix. Solo in the shimmer pad again. 
We can hear that that regen is sitting on top of our sound design. It's quite obvious. In it might be a little bit brutal on the ears. And we can control this in a couple of different ways. We can bring the dry wet mix down. We can decrease the color. We can dampen the high frequencies a little bit more. There's all these things that we can think about. Or we can use a second effects bus to add some more reverb and dampening on there, maybe some EQ just to bring down the high frequencies. But in this sound design, I'm going to use delay to actually bring this shimmer effect back in the sound design. So almost like I'm pulling it back and mixing it and blending it a little bit better. So with delay one, I've got it set to ping pong already and it's in sync mode and they're both in quarter notes. Some of the lows are removed, feedback increased, and I've brought up the dry wet a little bit. As soon as we activate delay, you're gonna hear that shimmer reverb take a back seat, and then we'll be able to go back to the reverb and push it a little bit harder to control the blend. You can see how that delay has pushed it right into the background. And I'm going to control this now with a dry wet mix. We get a lovely texture and it almost sounds like we've added an extra voice layer and just layered in some extra harmonics. Let's turn the reverb on and off and see what difference that makes. Beautiful. Now we can hear it's a little bit too much still, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And I'm going to bring up the time just a smidge. And that just makes sure everything is swelling nicely. That's a lovely amount of tail on the reverb as well, so that will do just fine. And that ties in nicely with the secondary stadium reverb we've got on that effects bus as well. And that is Shimmer Reverb on a pad. That is how I'd implement it there. And it gives you a lot of character and extra texture. Hopefully this will open up a few more doors for sound design options and just have an experiment around. This is where Shimmer Reverb gets really interesting because we're going to use this pluck design here. So it's the same chord sequence, but it's a pluck preset. Here we are in the pluck design. You can see there an overview of the pluck design going through very similar processing, but just using a different filter shape. Again, this preset is available in the download, so you can just go to the description and grab the link there. The reverb here, you can see we've just got effects bus one. Effects bus two does have some reverb in here, but at the moment I am just sending it to effects bus one. And this is housing the shimmer room. And we're gonna take a look at how to hear what the regen is doing in a much easier to understand way. So I'm going to increase the regen to full and we're just going to hit one key. And we can hear the shimmer regen just on the end There's a bit of a delay and we can make it a bit more obvious with a pre-delay. It's there. It happens very fast, but it sounds just like a little tweak, like we've hit the key right up high on the keyboard. But we can change the pre-delay from milliseconds into a time base setting. So hitting sync, we've now got settings here for time bases. So I'm going to set this to quarter notes and I'm going to hit the key again, and you're going to hear individual regens. And I'm going to make that more obvious by increasing the dry wet. And it's almost acting like a delay. And this is where Shimmer Reverb really comes into its own because we can really manipulate how that sounds and just give the whole preset design a whole new direction. So I'm going to set this to half notes. I'm going to set the time so there's a bit more blur in between each note of the regen echo, increase the shimmer a little bit, and I'm going to bring that regen down a smidge. So let's have a listen. Now we could bring the time down to 0.2 of a second and it'll sound like this. You're not getting any of that spatial awareness. It's not giving the preset an environment to sit in. And giving it a little bit of time, say four to five seconds, it's gonna give it a little bit more space and it'll sound a little bit more natural. You 
you can see you can start to make some really interesting sound design and get something really interesting on the go. Of course we can make this faster, so let's put it on 16th notes. And it will give you a bit more of a swell, like everything's brightening up and it just gives it a whole new direction. So for this design we're going to go for the 1 over 2, so the half beat. I'm going to increase the shimmer amount. I'm going to increase the mod amount as well as the colour. I'm not too worried about the higher peaks, we can control that a bit later on, but I will dampen the high frequencies a smidge here. Okay, so it's going a little bit too high, we're hearing some high octaves there, so I'm going to bring it down a bit. And that is exactly where we need it to be. The beauty of this is we can add some more delay on top of this, we can add some movement with the phaser, we can do all sorts. But what I'm going to do is actually go to effects bus number two. Making sure all the voice is selected, I'm going to send this to effects two as well. So now it's going to go through these three here. So the EQ's just got a bit of a roll off, so that's absolutely fine. I'm going to turn the compressor off for now and focus on the reverb. So now we've just got a large hall on top of this. But I'm actually going to change this to a shimmer room as well, meaning we can layer two shimmer reverbs on top of each other. So I'm going to go for a sync mode, but I'm going to go for a quarter dotted note here. Increase the shimmer, increase the regen, increase the wet dry amount and the colour. Let's have a listen to what we've got now. I'm just going to turn off effects bus one for now, so we can just hear the shimmer reverb from the second effects bus. It's just a little bit faster because we've set it to a dotted quarter note, whereas the first one is actually set to a half note in just a straight timing. There's no dotted or triplets there. So let's layer them on top of each other by activating effects bus one as well. And now you can hear we've got two time bases on top of each other. So I'm going to actually set that to, let's just say, straight quarter notes. You can get some really interesting effects here. So now we can control this with the dry wet amount. I'm going to put that onto dotted. And listen to that beauty. We have some really interesting options opening up to us. So on the second one, I'm actually going to put a delay on here as well. So let's go for that and we'll go for a rhythmic. And I'm going to set this to quarter notes and quarter dotted notes. We have two different time bases there. Roll out some of the lows. Cut out the highs a little bit. Let's have a listen to this. Well, that first one is a little bit too intense, so I'm going to bring the dry wet down because it's just overlaying on the first delay a bit too much. And to control how much of that low end comes through, put an EQ before it, set it to a 12, and I'm just going to roll it off around that 40 to 50 hertz mark. And you can hear we get some really interesting sound design coupled up with some delay as well. So let's have a listen to that. I'm just going to control the track level a little bit here so it's not too loud. a little bit more of a change here. Just 
to make it a little bit smoother and close the envelope a bit. There we have it. You can hear some really interesting results coming from the Shimmer Pluck and the Shimmer Pad. Whether you choose to use the Regen to integrate into a more free flowing manner like we did with the Pad, or you use it in an obvious syncopated way we did with the Pluck, Shimmer Reverb is gonna really open up some new doors to your preset design options. And we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of these workshop videos. And if you have any questions about what you've seen in today's video, let us know down in the comments. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. I've been Demis Helen, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next workshop video.